Well, I'm happy to say we're back! This is the sequel to my initial video, so please watch that to see people like XQC, Ludwig, and Jay Schlatt, as well as get some background on this project. To summarize, we're basically analyzing streamers' vocabulary based off a sample of their streams, as well as showcasing some of the unique words they often say, and showing off their counterpart to a similar project done for rappers. The reception to the video was everything I dreamed of. I was so happy that many of the streamers that were part of the video ended up reacting to it and liking it. I'm super proud of how everything turned out, and I'm glad everyone seemed to like it. Well, almost everyone. So with how many people I had requesting for me to do a similar video on new streamers, I got back to work. I got a lot of suggestions in the comments from the streamers that reacted to the last video, so I decided to center the next one around those requests, as well as select a few people I thought could beat last time's record of 4446 from Hungrybox. I decided to begin this time with Asmongold. He's an incredibly prolific creator and probably the most requested person from the last video. Asmongold is a gamer in every sense of the word, and had 3,158 unique words in his sample, with some of his most frequent words being Expansion at 89, Classic at 113, and Level at 122. You could definitely tell the influence of his WoW gameplay. His rapping counterparts were the Migos. Someone else that saw a lot of requests was Jerma985, who I was really excited to do. Jerma is by far one of the most creative streamers in the industry, and does so many weird and interesting things on stream. However, his vocab test was pretty lax as well, even more so than Asmin at 3053, with Cream at 87, Ice at 87, and Computer at 129. I can't tell if it's fitting or not, but his rapper was Wiz Khalifa. By the way, I did all the initial qualifications live on my Twitch stream, so if you'd like to see this content early and also see some of the other cool projects I do there, I'd love if you check me out and gave me a follow at twitch.tv slash oddballna. There's a good chance if you're watching this video that I'm over there talking with chat and preparing the next one. Anyways, let's get back to the video. After that, I decided to go with someone well acquainted with Jerma, and went with Connor Eats Pants. I've always respected how thoughtful Connor is with a lot of his content, but he performed even worse than the last two with 2753. For his word selection, he had Movie at 34, Cake at 58, and Mario at 112, with his rapper being Lil Baby. From there, it was time for Moist Critical, or Charlie. Although Charlie's perhaps more famous for his YouTube channel than his Twitch stream, he still has a very large presence on Twitch, and covers so many different topics on his channel. He was slightly better than the previous two, with 3,213, which was closest to Bone Thugs and Harmony. His words were Meat at 54, Baby at 87, and YouTube at 115. Another person that a lot of people asked me to do was Aiden Ross. He gets a lot of flack for things like believing the wall from Game of Thrones is real, but he performed pretty well with 3,601 to stand with Salt and Peppa, saying Fat 85 times, Honest 223, and Bro 474. Not passing up rice gum, but fairly close. With how well Aiden did, I chose one of his close friends and someone who I believe is one of the best streamers in the world, Kai Sanat. Kai narrowly fell below Aiden Ross, with 3,562 to become Big Sean. His words were Bet at 77, Saying at 135, and Yo at 483. I went across the streaming landscape and opted for another really big streamer, and decided to analyze Shroud. Shroud is someone that seemed to have their discussion of gameplay reflect most of their displayed words, but still maintained an impressive 3,723. For his words, he said Spawn 87 times, Map 108 times, and Smoke 154. For Shroud, his closest rapper was Missy Elliott. One of the last big requests I did that I still have no idea why anyone would want me to do was Forzen. I've never really watched much Forzen, all I know is he spoke so infrequently I had to use more hours of footage than Amaranth for his results. And even when I had enough data, when I analyzed it, I thought I broke my computer or something. He barely registered with 2,231, with Amy at 22, Tim at 24, and Dan at 27. Uh, his closest streamer was the lowest rapper on the list, NF, uh, and I don't even know if that's fair. I don't know if that's the AI misreading what he said, or if any Forzen boys could perhaps explain the lore of that, but yeah, I don't really know what to say. Anyway, none of the people I had selected thus far had passed last video's champion, Hungrybox. I wanted to go with some of my personal favorites, as well as see if we could pass Hungrybox's 4446. Someone else I was very interested to cover, both in commemoration of his casting achievements, and also because I think he's really smart, is the legendary StarCraft caster, Artosis. Artosis has casted for more than a decade, and is easily one of the most articulate and well-spoken figures in gaming. 
Artosis did fantastic with 4,154, with 82 flashes, 98 Koreas, and 112 maps. His rapper was Black Hippie member J-Rock. Another streamer I have a tremendous amount of respect for is Hikaru. Hikaru is one of the greatest chess players in the world. He's a very good storyteller, and he has a stylish haircut. However, Hikaru is probably the best example of how this experiment doesn't at all reflect intelligence, and is very much a reflection of what one is doing on stream. He only had 2,420 with 174 blocks, 242 moves, and 338 takes, making him an F. After that, I wanted to check out some more up-and-coming streamers, and first decided to go with 2021 Rising Star Streamer Award winner, Nathan Stans. He does tons of React content and does a bunch of scouring of the web, so it seemed like a pretty good shot. And he again did fairly well with 3,963 making him closest to Cupcake. His words were Ludwig at 48, Reddit at 76, and Watch at 93. Following that, I went with another handsome bearded gentleman, Wake. If you've never checked out Wake's content, he can usually be found discussing some profound truth or giving a motivational speech, usually very eloquently. This was reflected in his word count of 4,354, right up there with Ice Cube. His words were some of the most unique I found, with Catharsis at 13, Physique at 17, and Fulfillment at 22. After that, I checked on Extra Emily. Everyone knows she's ridiculously smart. She won OTK Schooled and some other game shows. It made sense that she would do well. She almost did it too with 4,232 to make her camera on. Her words were Wu at 63, Mario at 76, and Jump at 92. Still not past Hungry Box though. I then went to Frogan, another React type streamer that talks about a lot of different stuff. Frogan absolutely crushed it with 4,563, saying Health 42 times, Sims 55, and Cat 83. Their rapper, or rappers, being Outcast more than 100 more than Hungrybox. I had another slot to fill though, so I decided to try another big request, Northern Lion. Just look at this guy. You see this guy and expect to tell me you don't think it's probably 100,000 words? Well, it's not, but it's still pretty insane. His words were Drippy at 13, Uber Eats at 17, and Daughter at 45, with his rapper being none other than former Pit My Ride host, Exhibit. His word count, 4,787. Hungrybox may have bested him in class in one thousands of dollars, but Northern Lion at least knows that he wins the contest of an obscure YouTuber. Congrats, Northern Lion! Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, leave a like, and comment who you'd like to see analyzed in the future. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this again, so let me know. Also, I'm going to be making more videos like this live on Twitch, so please follow me there if you'd like to see more. See ya!